Hi guys, today I'm here with Stasi, and we are going to be talking about potty training and our favorite potty pads. Now, I got Stasi when she was 12 weeks old, and so she was not potty pad trained, and now Stasi is almost five months old, and she is completely potty trained on the potty pads. So I wanted to give you guys a review and um, tell you which potty pads we use because all of my dogs do go on potty pads. They don't go outside. So um, I feel like, you know, my yard is not secure to begin with. It's, um, we, we live in an area that has a lot of snakes and just um, different things that I don't really care to, to have my dogs go out and, and be confronted with. And then also another big thing is I love the ease of having potty pads and using potty pads exclusively because my dogs stay cleaner. Um, so I don't have to worry about bringing them out when the grass is really wet and they get all messy and especially with keeping a dog in a long show coat like Stasi will be. Um, she's being sleepy. <laughs> it does um, make things a lot easier to keep them clean if they are only going um, inside. So this is what we use. We, and I put some of these potty pads uh, from the area where I normally store them. I just brought them over to the grooming table so that I could show you guys. I use washable potty pads from a company called newpuppypads.com. I will leave the link in the description box below. And I've been using these pads probably for about I think about four or five years now, and I absolutely love them. I used to use the disposable potty pads, but I was going through so many because we do have four dogs. We have two little chihuahuas, a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, and Stasi, the Shizu. And so with four dogs, you do go through a lot of potty pads. And so I wanted something that was more... Um, what well, was less expensive. And then also another thing that I love about this is it's much more eco-friendly because you don't have to worry about potty pads winding up in landfills anywhere. These are just washed and used over and over and over again. So I like that about them as well. Now, there have, they have different sizes on newpuppypads.com, and he actually sells uh, disposable potty pads as well, but I only buy the washable potty pads from him, and the, I buy a couple of different sizes depending on the areas where I use them in the house. So I buy some that are a little bit larger, and then I buy um, this size, which I believe is the 18 by... 36 or either 24 by 36. I think they have 18 by 24s and 24 by 36. Um, but I used several different sizes. So you would have to kind of measure out and see what your area can hold and you know what would be a good size for your area and your size pet and then you can get the appropriate size. The ones that I buy have this solid backing here. They don't have the, they have some with little paw prints on them, so I've never tried those. These are the ones that I buy um, in, in all the different sizes, they're the same, but it's the solid tan backing. And they're really nice. They're very high quality. They have like a um, waterproof backing on the back. So this is the side that you would put down on the floor. And then when you open it up, it's kind of hard for me to do this up here, but you can see that it's just a quilted material. It's very well stitched. So they have, you know, it's really nicely stitched. You can see the stitching on the edges and then all throughout the potty pad is enforced or reinforced with this pattern of um, stitching. So they're very, very durable. Mines have been washed hundreds and hundreds of times. And only when I feel that the backing, like if it starts to get wet on the backing, then I replace them. But they last for a long, long time, so that's really good. Now, the way that um, you get your puppy to use pup puppy pads is 
by placing them in a small area such as this. This is our Rover pet pen and you can see Harper the Cavalier is lying in the bed over there and then we just have a bed, the water stand and then a potty pad. And someone has used that potty pad just now. It was clean a few minutes ago. Um, so you put them in an area that's very small and confined like that. And then when you know that they are going to need to use the potty, you're going to put them in there and use a special word for potty. Ours, and it sounds so silly, but ours is potty potty. So I will tell, um, like when Stasi, when I was training Stasi to use it, I would say potty potty, potty potty. And, and then she would know, um, d believe it or not, like I would just stay there and just say that word over and over and over again. And then by the time, you know, she went, she would go. So I would do it in an, in a time when I knew that she had to go. So when she first wakes up or when she's playing for a little bit and you have, you're watching them and you know that, oh, you know, they start to circle uh, that's when you would take them over to the area where your potty pads are and you would use your word, whatever word you want to say. Ours was potty potty. And I would just say that over and over and over again until she would go. And then once she went, I would just say, yay, good girl, good girl. And then I would give her a little treat. And then she started associating when I would say that she would get a treat. So it's really important in the beginning when you are puppy pot, puppy pad training, just like if you were outside training, you want to make sure you are always watching them. If you cannot watch them with both eyes 100% of the time, then they should be in their confined area. So I find that that is the most important key trick in getting a dog potty trained. Um, so if you are go going to be on the phone or if you're going to be distracted in any way, then that's the time where you'll want to put them in their crate or in their little puppy pen like I have. And their potty pad is in there, so if they need to go, they have it there and they are less likely to make mistakes if they get used to using that puppy pad in their confined area. And then when you take them out, uh, like I said, if I would go when they would, when she would wake up in the mornings, I know that I would not let her out of her puppy pen, her puppy pen until she pottied. And then once she pottied, I was right there ready to give her a treat. We threw a party and then she was able to play. And then I would only give her about 15 or 20 minutes freedom because I knew as a young, young puppy, she would need to go potty again very soon after that. So then it was back into the crate we went and we started that whole process over and over again. So it is very time consuming anytime you are training a puppy or you know when you have a new puppy, it, you're going to spend a lot of time getting them potty trained in the beginning, but then before you know it, they will just automatically um, know that, you know, where they need to go and what's expected of them and, and then they just do it. So, you know, like any new puppy owner, I was, you know, like the first couple of weeks, I was like, oh my goodness, she's never going to get it. She's never going to get it. And now it's like, she's 100% all the time. So she is excellent with it. You want to make sure you watch out for their cues. If you are, um, if you have a puppy and they, and you're watching them, like I said, 100% of the time with both eyes, if they start to circle, then that's when you know they're getting ready to potty. So then you would pick them up, bring them over to their puppy pad, wherever that is going to be, say your words, and then when they go, treat them. So that's basically about it. And I think that using the puppy pads, um, is very, very easy because what happens is, is they start to realize that this, you know, material is what she wants me to potty on. So all of my dogs, if I, as long as I have a potty pad with me, if we are out, if we are in the RV or if we are traveling, 
if I just put that potty pad down wherever we are, if it's in a hotel room, anywhere, but if I put that potty pad down, they know to go to that potty pad, that that is their place that they need to potty. So this was just a quick video on uh, puppy pad training and the review on the new puppypads.com. They are absolutely wonderful. Like I said, they're very high quality. And another great thing that I forgot to mention, when you're using washable potty pads instead of um, disposable pads is puppies like to play with those disposable pads. So, you know, when I first got Stassi, I, that very day that I got her, I didn't have a, one of my washable potty pads with me. And so I had just a disposable when I was at the studio and I just put it down and within two seconds, she was running across the room with a disposable pad in her mouth. And I was like, Oh no, 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 no. So that's another great, um, reason to use the washable potty pads and it's really very easy i go around the house you know every morning and i change uh, if there's poop on the pads anytime they poop like right when they poop i pick it up i flush it down the toilet and that's taken care of so usually the only thing that is on the potty pads um, is a, is PP and so in the mornings I will go around I'll make my rounds I'll pick up the potty pads that we have out I'll replace them with new potty pads and then I put I keep a stack of them on my washing machine and when I get like six or eight of them um, I fold them up just like you see here so you know once they are picked up it's not like you know there's the the pee is kind of inside there um, so I just make the stack and then when I get six or eight of them, then I'll make a wash and you can use bleach. So bleach is fine, but you do not want to use any fabric softener. And so you have to be careful not to buy, um, your detergent with the fabric softener in it. And you don't want to use fabric softener separately as well. And the reason why is because that will break down the backing and it won't make them waterproof anymore. So that's very important that you don't use fabric softener when you're using your puppy pads. Uh, they are actually running a special right now. So, you know, check their website out. They do frequently run specials, you know, 5% off, 10% off. I'm not sure if they will still be running the special when this video airs, but check out their website. It's newpuppypads.com and I will leave the link below. And I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye. Potty potty. Potty potty. Potty. Potty potty. Good girl. Good girl.